Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful natural large blossom earrings. They look complicated but if you have done my mandala earrings they're pretty much the same just in two rows so I explain uh, step by step and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them until the end of this video. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell. Please like, share and comment this video, in this way you help me so much. And just another thing to tell you before we start, down there in description, besides the full list of material, you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. And now this is the course 5 unexpected designs that you could do with Peyote Stitch. The membership is less than $5 per month and you could start and cancel anytime. So if you're curious to see these 5 videos and the other perks, just look at them. And now, without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 5 colors of 11 o seed beads and these are yellow, light orange, orange, red and black. And the black is not very visible at this moment, but you'll see it really clearly later. And uh, these are earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle. You could use size 11 or 12 as well if you want. And by the way, you could check description for full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me. And you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. It's less than $5 per month and you could start and cancel anytime. Okay, so let's continue. These are scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay guys, and now I'm going to take a little more than an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now in my next step, what I want to do is take 12 black beads. And now guys, I have my 12 beads here on my needle and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my work and here I want to make a knot and how I'm making my knot I'm making here a loop I'm going twice through the loop I've made like this and I'm pulling and now I want to make one more knot and then pull my thread just like this and now guys what I'm going to do next is go through some beads in this direction and now in my next step I'm going to take three red beads nine dark orange beads and then again three red beads okay this is what I need to take now three red nine dark orange and three red again okay this is what I need and I'm going to slide those down just like this and after that I'm going to skip the next one, this one that's on my way and I will go through the following. So I'm going through one of the blacks, I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I'm going through the one after that. Okay guys, now I'm going to take the same sequence of beads and I'll be back. Okay, and now I have the same sequence, uh, 3 red, 9 orange and 3 red. And as I'm exiting here through this black, 
I will skip the one that's on my way and I'm going through the following. Okay, now I have this and I'm going to repeat this one more time and then I will do this off camera until the end. Okay, and I have this sequence one more time. Let me check it again. Okay. And I will do absolutely the same thing. As I'm exiting through one of the blacks, I'm skipping the one that's coming and I'm going through the next. And now this is what I have and don't worry that it bends like this, we'll fix it later. Okay, do this three more times and meet me. Okay guys, and as I continue this three more times, I'm here at the very first bit that I started my work from and I'm going through it and now I have these six beautiful spirals but they won't stay spirals, okay? Uh, now, what I want to do is turn this like that then I will go through these three red beads that I added first Okay, this is what I have and now I want to take three red beads and I'm going through the first one of these three reds here okay through this one you see what I have exiting out of one of the reds I'm going through the other one okay and I pull a little bit now I want to take just one black bead and you see this spiral I turn it so it's not spiral anymore it should look like this you see like this and then I go through this third red bead you see the third red counting from the center okay and I pull and when I pull I have this now what I need to take are three more red beads and I'm going in the third red here this one okay like this and pull okay and after that what I need is to take just one black bead and I turn the next spiral in this direction and I go here through this red bead okay through the third thread counting from the center and I pull just like this then again I'm going to take three red beads and I go here through this third bead and I pull you see what I have and I'm going to continue this guys until the end of this row so I take one black and I go through the third here, third one counting from the center and I'm holding it because otherwise it wants to bend again but after I finish this row everything will look straight and nice okay I'll finish it and I'll be back okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last black bead from this row if you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video, see how I'm doing the first step and repeat them until the end and you will have this. 
and now what I want to do is go through two orange beads in this direction and I'm going to take just one orange and I'm going through this middle red bead then I take just one orange and go through the second orange but from the outside to the inside now I'm going to take two black beads okay two of them and I'm going in the second orange again counting from the red beads this is the second orange and I pull then again I need one orange bead dark orange I'm going in the central red bead the central of the three that I added in my previous row then I take just one and I go again through the second here and I pull now what I need to take are two blacks again and guess what I'm going through the second orange bead counting from the reds then again I need an orange and go here in the red another orange and go here in this orange okay then again two black beads And I go here and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last two beads from this row and now I'm going to make the outer circle of my blossom and how I do this I come here I am exiting through the fourth bead counting for fourth orange bead counting from here and now what I want to take are three light orange beads okay three light orange and eight yellows okay uh, until now I have three light orange beads and eight yellows and now I need three more light orange beads they are really close as color especially on camera and now what I want to do is keep this bead that's on my way so I'm exiting here out of the fourth one I'm skipping the fifth one and going through the sixth one of my nine dark orange beads okay now I have this okay again it will bend like this but we'll fix it later now what I want to do is go through one more orange in this direction and I am one orange bead away from these two black beads okay and I'm going to take the same sequence of beads and I'll be back okay here is the same sequence eight in the middle and three light orange at the ends and now I go here in the same place one light orange bead after these two blacks symmetrically at the same place okay and I went through two orange beads in this direction 
And here is the place to add the same sequence. I'll take it and I'll be back. Okay, again I have the same sequence. And this time, like I did before, again I skip one and go through the following two. And here I will be adding uh, 12 of those loops at this point. Here there were six. And now I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself. Here at the gap I'm one orange bead away from the blacks and I'm going one orange bead after the black. And here at the tops I'm exiting out of the fourth orange counting from the reds, then skipping the next one and going through the following two and then continue. Okay, let me show you one more time. Taking the sequence. Okay, here is the sequence. And again, as I said, I'm going here through the next two and repeat. Okay, I think you get the idea and if you can't do this, rewind the video and start from here and it is the same thing until the end. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and I'm here at the same place. Why one orange beads after one orange bead after these two black beads and I'm pulling and now what I want to do is absolutely the same thing that I showed you before I'm going through the first three beads here that are light orange in this case okay then I take three light orange beads okay and I go here through the first of these three light orange beads like this this is what I do then in my next step I need to take one black bead and I'm going here in this orange the third orange like I did before and I pull then I'm going to take three light orange beads again and I'm going here And then I'm going to take one black and as I'm exiting here, I go here in the next light orange bit. Okay, I'm going like this. Okay. Don't worry, it looks like this at this stage, we'll fix it later. Then again, three of those. And through the third one here, I need to pop it up a little bit in order to be able to go through it. Okay, and pull. And then again, what I need is one black bead. And I turn this again in this direction and I go here in this orange. Okay, and then I will continue this the same way. Three light orange beads, one black, turning them like this all the time. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last black bead from this row. And now I'm going to do pretty much the same thing like in the inner row. 
So I'm going through two yellow beads in this direction. Okay, I'm exiting out of the second yellow here, as you may see. And now I need to take one yellow and I'm going in the middle light orange. Okay, then I need another yellow and I'm going in the second yellow counting from the orange but this time from the outside to the center and I have this okay it looks good now I'm going to take two black beads and I'm going through the second yellow here Okay, and I pull, then I will take one yellow, go here in the central one of these orange beads and pull, then again take one yellow and go here again in the second one but again from the outside to the center and I have this and now I want to take again two black beads go in the second like this then take one yellow go through this orange and pull and then one more yellow and go here through the second yellow and pull and then I won't take two more black beads and again I'm doing absolutely the same thing until the end and I'll let you do this if you forgot how I'm doing it rewind the video from here and repeat 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 and I'll meet you okay guys and I'm here at almost my last step from this row and all I need to add now are these two black beads and again I'm going in the same planes through the second through the second yellow bead okay and now what I want to do is go in this direction through three more beads okay and now I'm going to take my earring finding and I take two black beads then my earring finding slide those down and then I'm going to take two more black beads you see and I go back through these two yellows that are here okay two blacks earring finding two more blacks and go back through these two yellows okay like this and now guys what I need to do is reinforce one or two more times this joint okay then in my next step what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and I go here at the angle and I will make here a loop and I will go once and then I will go second time through this loop I've made I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and I pull then in my next step I'm going through the following beads in this direction 
Okay. And when I'm ready, I cut my thread. Okay, and now my large bl blossom earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my large blossom earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make new tutorials matching these ones and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Also down there in description you will find the full list of materials, Facebook page to share pictures of your creations that you did following me. And also now if you become a member you will get the course 5 unexpected designs that you could do with Peyote Stitch so you could check this option down there in description as well. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye from me!